So let us try to understand how to solve some examples on second law of thermodynamics. So here we are having a condenser of a refrigerator system which is rejecting heat at the rate of 120 kilowatt that is 120 kilojoule per second whereas the compressor consumes a power of 30 kilowatt and we have to find out what will be the coefficient of performance of the system and there are four options. Now we know that the block diagram of the refrigeration system is given by so here we want to pump the heat from low temperature sink and we have to transfer the heat to the high temperature source and therefore we will require some amount of the work now considering this refrigerator as a thermodynamic system we can apply the heat balance equation over here so applying the energy balance equation we can say that the incoming arrows to the system are Q2 and W that is the refrigerating effect produced and the work whereas the outgoing arrow is the heat rejected. So we can say that the outgoing arrow is equal to incoming arrows to the system or heat rejected is equal to work required to drive the compressor plus the heat that is abstracted or refrigerating effect that is produced. So we can say that the work is given by Q1 minus Q2 where Q1 is nothing but the heat rejected whereas Q2 is nothing but the refrigerating effect produced and we know that the coefficient of performance of the system or of the refrigerator is given by the output divided by input so output is nothing but the refrigerating effect that is produced and input is nothing but the work required now in our example the values are given as that of the heat rejection so Q1 is given and the work is also given that is 30 kilowatt so we can substitute those values over here in this equation so q2 is equal to q1 minus w that is 120 minus 30 that is 90 kilowatt so q2 is 90 and w is 30 so coefficient of performance of this particular system is 3 now let us see another example in which we are having the apartment having a cooling load of 300 megajoules per day then what will be the TR capacity of the plant so we know that the required capacity is 300 megajoules per day now we will convert that particular value from megajoule to kilojoule will it will be 1000 you have to multiply it by 1000 then again we have to convert this kilojoule per day into kilojoule per second so we have divided by 24 into 3600 and therefore the required capacity that we obtain will be 3.47 kilojoule per second now as we know that one ton of refrigeration is 3.52 kilojoule per second so we can say that nearly one ton of the capacity one ton capacity of the air conditioning plant will be required now let us see another example now suppose we are having a refrigerator and heat pump working on the reverse Carnot cycle then we have to find out the correct sentence out of this following four sentences now to answer this particular question we will require to understand the working of heat pump now as shown over here we have considered the heat pump as the thermodynamic system q1 is the heat rejected w is the work required and Q2 it is the heat absorbed from this particular system. Q1 is equal to W plus Q2 and therefore W is equal to Q1 minus Q2. So coefficient of performance or energy performance ratio is given by Q1 upon W. Now we know that coefficient of performance of the refrigerator system is Q2 upon W. So COP of refrigerator is equal to Q2 upon W. Adding one on both the sides will get this particular equation. So W plus Q2 upon W is nothing but Q1 upon W from the energy balance equation. But we know that Q1 upon W is nothing but what? It is the coefficient of performance of the heat pump. So we can say that the relation between the coefficient of performance of the heat pump and coefficient of performance of the refrigerator is that 1 plus COP of refrigeration system is equal to coefficient of performance of the heat pump.